I have a coupon for half off if you bring your own chicken. I have my own chicken right here. Whoa, what the? That's a, wait a minute. What is going on? What is this? My own chicken? What the? This bro. isn't a cluck and joke, man. I have never seen this. I don't believe anybody. It's a real life. Yeah, I want to throw it on the grill. Bro. We don't throw them on the grill here, but I'm going to take a picture of your chicken. I'm sending that to my boss. I'm going to say, let us know y'all sending these. <laughs> Let alone someone brought a chicken. You got it, bro. I got you. Can you fry it up? No, no, I can't fry that up. No, we got dead chicken, dead. Me, the girls I like. I agree wholeheartedly, man. Goth girls are something special. So I sent my sister that image and she sent back a picture of her dressed like that. How am I supposed to take this, man? What's the next step? I'm in a hotel and someone named Emily has multi-mode turned on. Should I connect to her speaker and put this on her playlist? Put one on her playlist. Oh my God, Emily, I'm inside your closet. Would she notice? I don't think she would. I think she would just bop to some of that. A little bit's good. It starts well with the Frank Sinatra and the Jorah Smith, so she just might not notice that you're actually in her closet. Hey, I think Andrew gave you the wrong number. Oh, all right, sorry, have a good day. <laughs> Thanks, you too. You know, that was a crappy move, Andrew. <laughs> Yeah, it's a crappy feeling being ignored, used, and to have a guy hit you off with just vanish. Guess I was just a one-night stand for him. Guys are crappy. You're grossly unattractive, by the way. I just wanted to make that clear. This morning at 7-Eleven, I saw a lizard next to the coffee maker, and the cashier said, No worries. That's yeah, just Marvin. You know, he likes the smell. Leave him alone. Oh no, can you DM us with the store location you visited so we can check in on Marvin? Thank you. Whoa, no way. I'm not going to narc on my buddy. Yeah, I thought that was common knowledge. We don't narc on lizards, bro, especially if they have caffeine addictions. Let them feed that addiction. What are the pros and cons of having big boobs? And what are the pros and cons of having small boobs? I have big boobs myself, and here are the pros and cons of having big boobs. Many people find big boobs attractive. I always get stares in public because of them, which I find very flattering. They're fun to play with. I make many women jealous because my boobs are bigger than theirs. And here are the cons. They hurt my back. They get in the way. I have to buy baggier t-shirts. They're just annoying sometimes, and I'm a dude. These are the four horsemen of I can take the whole squad. <laughs> <laughs> we already know that her power level is maxed out, bro. She is soloing everyone in this group. Hey, sorry to hear about your grandma. I'm here to talk if you want. But also, you said you would send tits a couple days ago, and you never did. But it's okay. I get it. You have a lot going on. Just when you get the chance, send me some tits, and we can talk about your grandma. Today, I messed up by not being prepared for a BJ in the middle of the night. And the very next post... Men, do you genuinely want to be woken up in the middle of the night for BJ's? Personally, no, that sounds like an assault. I'd like to sleep when I'm asleep. I don't want to be woken up like that. But that's a genuine question for my male audience. Would you want to be woken up with some head? Let us know in the comments down below. Ayo, 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 everybody stop, stop. Hold on, let him cook. We're about to taste some delicious stuff, man. Matter of fact, if anybody got a camera set up next to the soup pot, this dude's about to do some gymnastics. Grandma, all kids think about is sex these days. Grandma back then. Oh my god. That's cr Is that Bernie Sanders? Oh, that is absolutely Bernie Sanders. How many people have you slept with? Um I've only slept with you. Oh my god, are you being serious? Really? Yeah, I'm serious. Everyone else kept me up all night. <laughs> Lesbian Brokeback Mountain remake starring Margot Robbie and Emma Watson confirmed for 2021. I'm conflicted. On one hand, if this were true, I'd be annoyed with Hollywood trying to remake every movie with female leads because my vagina feminism. On the other hand, would be lotion. Me, when I was carrying my dead Great Dane in a giant suitcase on the subway to the vet to get cremated, and a guy asked, what's in the bag? And I panicked and said laptops, and he stole it from me and ran. To be honest, I'm pretty sure your dog would have liked that outcome. He became a horrifying lesson on why you shouldn't steal things from people. In 2013, a Brazilian woman laced her coochie with poison so that oral sex would kill her husband. That is both brilliant and incredibly dangerous because you can poison yourself that way very easily. Now, personally, what I want to know is if it was actually effective or did this woman give herself a yeast infection for no reason? This is really a cool ring. Check it out. You can put sugar-like substance in here for your tea, for example. Yeah, for your tea. 
There was a kid in my high school that spent all of his time pretending to be Pikachu. One day, we heard screams coming from the field behind the high school. We all ran to see what was going on. The kid had decided to evolve into a Raichu. How? How did he do that? Did he electrocute himself? Where did he find the lightning stone? Where did he put the lightning stone? Okay, so that's what an Italian anklet looks like. Oh, there's one from Spain. There's one from India. I like that one. And Miami is my favorite, because you really see that one everywhere. Look, I've told you, those aren't gonna hatch. Those aren't going to hatch. Come on. Those aren't eggs. Hey, Snapchat AI, can you help me out? This is what I look like. I keep getting bullied because I'm in a wheelchair. What should I do? I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you should try standing up for yourself. Man spends millions of dollars injecting himself with son's blood in attempt to de-age himself. Apparently this dude is 45 years old and he looks like he's 50. He looks older than that, so whatever he's doing is not working. Hey Twitter, what can you say during sex, but also at a family dinner? Thanks mom, this is such a delicious meal. I, I really love this, it's so warm. Why are you using Tinder? My boyfriend died last year, so I'm trying to get back into the dating scene really. Damn, that's sad. On our first date, we should use a Ouija board to get his permission to smash. To be honest, not a terrible idea. I'm pretty sure he would want to have a, a say in that. Because look, I know how people are like, oh, you know, move on when I die. I'm not, I'm not people, all right? No, if I'm dying, you will remain a widow. Don't you get with anybody else? I will haunt you. Do you have to know where Sephora is? So if you go back up this way, go down the escalator, my uncle touched my wiener, and then it's literally right there by the Apple store. Yeah. Hey yo, I am not leaving until I see who walks out of this house. Cause that's a cape. No way is that underpants. That is absolutely a superhero cape. I gotta cop myself a pair. The dog shoes? What? That's so cool. Yo, for real, I have these and it's so funny to see my neighbor blame the dogs for shitting on his porch. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Y'all, I got a question, for real. How are unicorns fake, but giraffes are real? Like, what's more believable, a horse with a horn or a leopard moose camel with a 40-foot neck? To be honest, the leopard moose camel with a 40-foot neck seems really reasonable. I don't know why it does. It's not because I've seen it in person. It literally just makes sense. All right, this one's going to be a little harder. Tell me your favorite NBA player without mentioning that player's name. And I'm going to try to guess it. Why is every Reddit relationship question like, I, 29 female, love my fiance, male 34, except whenever we fight, he takes a dump in the living room, then makes me refer to his dump as Mr. Hoskins and apologize to it. Am I overreacting? Our wedding is in six hours. The moon is actually more useful than the sun, since the moon gives us light at night when it's dark. The sun only gives us light during the day when it's already bright out. If you use 100% of your brain, you'll have epiphanies like this too. I did some research and was blown away by the evidence. The evidence. Makes sense to me. Reptilians do exist, and they do live longer than humans, so I'm pretty sure they met Jesus at some point. Makes sense to me. I was born in like 2010. <laughs> What? Yeah, where you were you born? Bro, like 1919. So I did some digging and some math. Um, there's a five year age gap between you guys. And you have three kids. And you're 22? Because here on your Instagram, you celebrated your 17th birthday on March 17th, 2017. But your first baby was born July 3rd, 2017. Which means a man over the legal drinking age had special relations with a 16 year old child. And then by the time you were his age, you had two more children with a felon. Baby, I think you were groomed. Hey everybody, I have the greatest announcement. My sister is pregnant. I'm gonna be a dad. Oh my God, I've been waiting so long for this. I'm about to be a father. And the doctor said that my kid's going to have extra chromosomes. Like he's already an overachiever. I'm winning guys, I'm winning. Seriously guys, tell me, why do I see a medium rare steak? I know it's a rock, but 
I'm salivating, I'm hungry, I want this. Scientists at Stanford University have constructed a 3D model of how King Tut, a famous Egyptian pharaoh, might have looked. Seems legit, I didn't even know that King Tut had a rhinoplasty. Like, it looks like he's had five, actually. And our final post of the day comes from Twitter. Oh my god, when does it stop? Disney didn't even spare the horse, man, look. Now let's be fair, we don't know if the horse was a diversity hire, but you know, they're really trying to stick to a particular narrative, so we really don't know. What's up everybody, it's your boy Illyris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos and not subscribing. And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. This month is chock full of content. All of it. Every ounce of entertainment that you guys desire at a reasonable time. I'm going to be uploading Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, as per usual, at 3 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Because I am moving from the East Coast, which is nuts, to be honest, because I've lived here my whole life. Uh, I've never moved to any other state or any other, you know, region of the United States. So, like, yeah, this recording is being made exactly 48 hours before I pack up and move from my homeland of the East Coast, the Mid-Atlantic, to the center of the nation, which is insane. I am so nervous and excited at the same time, and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. Speaking of which, let's give a big thanks to the Patreon supporters that make my life and this content possible. A big thank you to Jacob, Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, The Eggs One, Fitch Chivalry, Din Corda, Code Connor Purvis, Aileris' mom, Declan, S16, Green Pasta Man, Squish, Ren Hex, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, Lucas Adams, Big Boy Bailey, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanneker, Zach F, Bloody Hunter, Keeley, Dunder Nass Hawk, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swift Patreon user, Noah, and Catherine Taylor. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so it can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.